Hello everyone, Christy McKee here from the Emerging Technology team. Let's take a closer look at the Math Assistant tool built into OneNote Class Notebook that our students can use as they practice math concepts. So I'm on a blank page or a brand new page inside of one of my sections in my class notebook. And to access the math tool, I can either go to insert, there's math right there, or I can go to draw and I'll see math right there as well. Now, if I were to click on math right now, it's actually going to show me how to get started with math. I either have to use digital ink to write out an equation or I can type it using the keyboard. So let's go ahead and get started with an equation. Let's try typing 2x plus 5 equals 25. Now, notice that I select this equation and press math. I can see that equation written out for me here in the math panel along the right, and I can see select an action below. Notice that I can either solve for x, graph both sides in 2D, or graph in 2D. I'm gonna simply click solve for x for this particular equation, and I can see the solution here, x equals 10. But what's even more important than seeing the answer is I can click show steps to see the steps that OneNote took in order to solve this equation. So I simply click show steps, steps for solving linear equation, and I can not only see these steps, but I can actually click on Immersive Reader, and when I press play, I can have the steps read aloud to me. Steps for solving linear equation. Subtract five from both sides. Two X equals 25 minus five. Let's go back. Now, the last thing I wanna show you with math is that your students have the ability to have OneNote and Microsoft Forms generate a math practice quiz using similar equations to what you originally had them practicing with on the OneNote page. So here I can scroll over in this right panel to generate a practice quiz. Now, if this for some reason is not working in Teams, remember that you can always have your students open OneNote Class Notebook in the browser. So let's do that. And again, I would just simply highlight that equation click on math, select an action, solve for X, and then I could go ahead and click generate a practice quiz. This is going to launch the sign in for Microsoft Forms. Next, once it's signed me in, I can go ahead and set the number of questions I would like created. Let's say I want five additional practice questions and I could go ahead and say generate quiz. Notice that Microsoft Forms gives me similar questions to what I had already been practicing with, and I can go ahead and uh, actually work on solving these equations right inside of Forms to get immediate feedback right inside of my OneNote Class Notebook page.